hello, uh, I'm in a house. Uh, it's a uh, buy to let that I've owned for the last seven years. And uh, I wanna do a, a case study on this property, like a long-term case study, the what's and all, what's happened over the last seven years. Um, you know, often we'll do a, a video of a house that I've just bought or just in the middle of the renovation. It's quite close to the, you know, the time we bought it. There's not a lot of information to give other than the, the purchase price and what, what the, what's happened on the renovation and yeah even if the tenants just moved in this one i've rented for the last seven years so i think it's um well do, do you know what i'm not sure if it's a good case study or a bad case study some of the numbers are atypical i think actually on the other hand it's a real case study so the more i do of these and just keep doing them the more it will build up a picture um seven years ago this these are the properties that i was buying and the thing that's a little bit atypical now actually happened for about two years where we were getting it's the loan to value mortgages we just happened to be getting them at that loan um anyway i'll have a little look around um we bought this house for fifty four thousand pounds and we spent seventeen thousand five hundred pounds on it just gonna be careful there's a bit of a step there and the, the obligatory fire alarm that's going off in the uh, background just a smoke detector that's going to be changed later as well um in the uh, yeah bathroom i think uh, the, these these tiles and let's have a little look at these so there must be a good 200 properties in nottingham with with those kind of uh, tiles and this bathroom suite in it a um, bit of decoration needed in there and um, I think the extractor fan stopped working as well, so a little bit of uh, um, sort of condensation mold that needs to be got rid of as well. So yeah, we spent seventeen and a half thousand pounds. This is this was a three uh, sorry it was a two bed, and now it's a, a three bed. We made it a three bed during that uh, renovation. Relatively easy thing to do um, in this particular house. We did that. Uh, so the total we spent on this property was seventy one thousand five hundred pounds. Um, there's there's a few bits of bottom of fees and things and that up. I'm going to go through the numbers as quickly as easy as I can. I'm also going to put them into the description in the um, in the video, so you could be able to go in there. Um, I just want to get all the numbers in. It's going to be one of those uh, you know, you'll either love this or hate it. The kind of video. It's not. It's not. Uh, it's just going to be the numbers. Um, the valuation on this property was eighty five thousand pounds. Now. Uh, I remember thinking at the time that, that we did really well at that, and sometimes you're up on evaluation and sometimes you're down. It's not a massive amount either way, but uh, you know, I know that we did probably about £5,000 better than we expected um, on, on, on the valuation. Great, happy days. You know, makes up for some of the ones where we got slightly less moving. Uh, the loan to value on the, prop, on the, um, on the property, on, the, on that second, on the remortgage as it's called, so um, the value is £85,000. We got a loan of eighty five, so eighty percent of that. So value eighty five thousand, loan of eighty percent of eighty five thousand. So the loan was sixty eight thousand pounds. That is quite atypical. We're not getting eight percent loan to value mortgages now. Uh, I think there's a few out there. Um, I don't get offered many myself. I, I don't think I'm eligible for those uh, those mortgage products. Uh, they're, they're with lenders that don't like multiple uh, sort of portfolio landlords. I'm really happy at that. I'm, I'm happy at sort of seventy even 65% on some of mine at the moment. But uh, you know, at the time I was taking higher loan to values, it's your personal choice, isn't it? But 80% loan to value was significantly you know, higher than we've been taking. And that 68,000 pound loan, well, look what it did to the capital employed. So my capital employed on this property for the last seven years has been 3,500 pounds. That's all it's been. So um, it shows the power of finding the right house, adding some value, and then pulling the, uh, your, your initial capital pot out of that. Uh, yeah, just three and a half thousand pound capital employed. I paid 2.7% on the mortgage throughout that time, and that's 153 pounds per month, give or take a couple of pence, I rounded it down. The rent, when we first rented it out, was 500 pounds a month, and that meant that we made 347 pounds gross every single month. And I'll come on to all the fees and the other costs and stuff in a minute as well. And I'll put them in the description there for you as well. Um, the rent went up three times in that seven years. So uh, it ended up at 675 pounds actually um, for the last nearly three years. So seven years rent, looking through my accounts, I've taken these numbers directly from my accounts, was 36,800 pounds over seven years. That was the rental income. So. Um, I've got costs shown in my accounts of £6,300. I see it's slightly less, but I'm rounding everything up to make it nice and easy. Um, which means we made £30,500 profit. 
Um, all the rounds, ups and downs, they don't eat, don't even equal a thousand pounds at the end, about 800 pounds, ups and downs. So you know, you'll forgive me for just trying to make the maths as easy as I can, but yeah. Uh, in that seven years, we made 30,500 pound profit. Now here's the most spectacular bit, I think. So don't, bear in mind, we made that 30,500 pound profit on a three and a half thousand pound capital employed. Pretty damn good. Um, I say, property is the best wealth creation strategy on planet Earth. You probably see why. Um, the value now, um, it's official, it's £125,000. I think it could actually be slightly more than that, but that's the valuation that's on it, £125,000, seven years later. I'll say it again, touch wood somewhere. You know, it's, hopefully it's still true. Um, well, I know it's still true, hopefully it remains true. We've never bought a house for £50,000 that hasn't doubled in value uh, within five years. It's just that level of, no, no house should be £50,000. They just shouldn't be £50,000. You can't build this house for fifty grand. So buying that at that level, and yeah, they're, they're bound to go up. But anyway, value of 125 grand. I spent a total of 71,500 on it. It's a capital gain of 53,500 pounds there. 53,500 pounds in seven years. Add that to 30,500, it's 84 grand in seven years. It's 12,000 pounds per annum. Um, you can see why I rounded it up and down just to make it, it's like, it's 12,000 pounds per annum. I've only got three and a half grand tied up in this property. For me, that is spectacular. Um, but you see, also, it's just what we do. We keep doing this over and over again. Um, I've got a two and a half thousand pound bill now on this tenant turn. There's a few things that need to do in, a bit of uh, bit of decorating. I'm gonna put some new carpets in. And, um, well, I think there's a few bits in the kitchen that need sorting out as well. But uh, hopefully you can see why we buy these kind of properties, you know? Um, they just work so beautifully, beautifully well. Um, I get quite a few questions, uh, or maybe I don't, I, I get quite a few people asking the same question, and it's where do you buy? You know, where, um, you know, I guess kind of wanting specifics. Now, forgive me, I'm not gonna give you postcodes, and it's not It's not particularly that um, I'm being really secretive or anything, oh, I suppose we kind of are, but it's, it's, a bit of, it's a bit of information that if I give it away, I know for a fact that, um, if, if only three or four more people were buying properties in the areas where we buy, the prices would start to go up. But I'm, I can guarantee, we, we, we buy in 20 different places across the country, if that. Um, there are hundreds of places where you can buy properties to these numbers, I just know it. So, um, you know, if I, give, if I tell you the exact postcode of where we're buying, they'll all run out. You need to spread yourselves out and find find the places where you can uh, where you can achieve those returns. And I know that they're out there. So um, off you go, start looking. Um, it's not about the specific area. I'm not going to say, well, if I give you a postcode, you, that's the, the the golden ticket. It's not. It's learning how to find the right house, fix it up, and then rent it out. And it definitely helps to have that long term view. Um, so I, this has not actually been an easy ride. Looking back through the, 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 the list, so I've had to go back through the accounts and some um, sort of, uh, yeah, all the rental history, everything. This hasn't been a smooth ride. There's plenty of points in, in this um, property um, tenancy in, this, in the period of seven years where I wasn't particularly happy with this, I, or, or might not have been. I can tell you now, I didn't really think about it too much. It was, that's, I've, I've revisited this stuff um, for this video, so you know. Going back through there reminded me of one or two little gripes that came up over the seven years. Um, they very quickly receded in the rear view mirror. I think there's a lot to be said for having that landlord's attitude, which is um, stuff happens. You know, there, there is not. Um, it, 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 anyways, it can be if you, if you choose to look at it this way. Um, a, a, a negative spiral. You know, we don't get however many tenants we've got calling us up in the morning saying, "Just check it in, everything's all right." That doesn't happen. Uh, all we tend to get is uh, is negative news. Um, you know, this is broken, that's broken. I need to fix that. This place is empty. It needs a tenant, and whatever it is, you've just got to accept that. That's the way it is. Deal with it, and um, I wouldn't even say the, the make the most of it. It's not a case of making the most of it. It's just the business. Um, you need to have that um, understanding of why you're in this. You're in it for the long term, and you know, those, those returns, they definitely, definitely make it worthwhile. So uh, if anyone's got any questions, uh, ask them in the comments below. I love reading through those. I put you know, an hour or so aside uh, with a nice glass of whiskey to, uh, to answer some of those. Uh, I'll try and answer most of them before I finish the glass of whiskey. And um, also don't forget to subscribe. That uh, you know, means that all the new, new um, videos will come straight into your inbox as well. So 
good talking to you and uh, see you all soon.